So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 18. Find all values of x that make this matrix equal this matrix. So, let's remember matrices. If you have a 2 by 2 matrix, you calculate the determinant by multiplying the top left times the bottom right, and then subtracting this diagonal. So it's the it's this diagonal minus this diagonal. For 3 by 3 matrices it's a little trickier. You have to go through a three-step procedure. So you take the top left term, in this case 2, and then pretend the other four that are not in... I'm gonna cross these out. Um, we're gonna have to look at them later though, so we'll have to look past them. So you imagine that you're crossing out the first column and crossing out the first row and then you treat the, what's left as a 2 by 2 determinant so we do this diagonal 0 times 6 is 0 minus this diagonal 5 times 1 is 5 then you do negative of the next term in the middle of the top row so it's negative negative 1 so that becomes positive 1 and then you treat what's left over and I, I can't undo these cross outs but what's left after you take out the top row and the middle column you'll have I'll just put it over here 3 4 5 6 so you treat that like a 2 by 2 determinant and you get 18 minus 20 and the last one is plus 4 and what will be left over when you cross out the top row in the right column you'll have 3 4 0, 1, so this diagonal is 3, and that diagonal is 0. And then you multiply all this out. Now notice it's, it goes plus, minus, plus for the coefficients. The only reason this is a plus is because this is actually negative 1, and it's negative, negative 1, so it's positive 1. But now we just multiply that out to get the value. So it's negative 10, uh, 1 times negative 2 is minus 2, plus 12. So it's actually negative 12 plus 12, which is 0. So this whole left side equals 0. Um, now we have the uh, 2 by 2 determinant is just solved as, so this, this is all for the 3 by 3. The 2 by 2 determinant on the right side is solved by doing x squared minus 20. And that's as far as we can take it because it has a variable. We are looking to find x, but we've now determined that the entire left side determinant equaled 0. So now we have this quadratic equation to solve. We can add 20 and take the square root. So x squared equals 20, and therefore x equals positive and negative root 20. Uh, so the best choice is probably going to be D because it's got to be plus or minus and it's got to be between 4 and 5 so without even putting in the calculator we know it's got to be D I know I went through this procedure with the matrix really fast but um, just take some time to review that it, again it's a three-step process you take this top left term treat the other four terms that are not in that column or row as a 2 by 2 determinant and then remember to alternate the sign plus minus plus and check it through. Do, do a few practice examples for that. There's usually one of those on a given test, probably not more than that, but knowing the basics will get you through. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.